Okay, so now that I finished leaving this part here um, and finished putting a little, um, I guess, band on the end or header. Um, Hey guys, and welcome back to Fire by Nature, and today we are here for my 300 subscriber celebration video. Yay! So, I want to thank you guys for supporting me through this journey, and I can't wait to get started uh, with this with today's project. So, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I did a poll uh, a couple weeks back, um, and uh, it was between plastic bag yarn or jean and you guys asked for jean rug, so here we are. So for this um, project, you'll need a frame loom. I just put this loom together um, and put a few nails. Um, you can even use a uh, picture frame and put a few nails here. So it's really simple to make. If you want to see me make that um, a video about how to make it, then please sh make sure to let me know in the comments and that might be coming as in a future video. So, you will obviously need your jean yarn. Um, so, uh, if you guys don't know how to make jean yarn, um, the link will be in the description below for how to make that. You will also need a tapestry beater. Um, you can even use a fork for this. It's really just to anything you can beat down with threads with. Um, and then a shovel. This is just a simple stick shuttle. You can even make this out of cardboard, make a uh, long uh, rectangle and cut some slits in the end. And that's basic uh, stick shuttle. And um, this is an example of what this might look like. So, yes. So um, I'm going to make a piece almost identical to this. Um, so as you see, I actually put some nice green wool head headers um, on this with some of my hand spun. And the warp, if you guys are wondering, is A2 cotton. All of the materials used will be linked below uh, or mentioned below. So let's get started. So to get started, um, I wove a header. You do not have to weave a header. Um, I just chose to do this to match this sample right here. Um, so this is some of my hand spun. Um, I just like to do this to add some decorative or other pops of color to it. I mean, it's not really pops of color, just to give a nice uh, look at the end. So um, I wound my shuttle and um, basically you just take that ball of yarn and just wind it around this uh, shuttle. Um, Again, if you want to see a full video on how to make this loom or how to set up this loom or how to warp it, um, make sure to let me know in the comments down below and um, that might be a future video. So let's get started. So first, you're going to obviously wind your shuttle and then what you're gonna do is right here, I don't know if you can see that, um, this is the tail end right here from the header. So what I like to do is kind of just weave that in um, and then pull that through. And then you can use, again, tapestry beater or fork to kind of beat that down. And then you're gonna go in from the same side. Huh, let me adjust this. And then you're gonna go into the same side with your shuttle. So leaving the long tail on that side. Um, I'm going to weave this under and over. So under one thread, over the next thread, and under this one. And now you're just gonna repeat that over the entire row. And then again, it might be helpful to pull the shuttle through a little bit and then continue. So that is your first row. And then what I like to do too is 
Again, you, you should always tuck in your tails. It's like in the ding too, um, finishing your ends. So you're gonna weave that, um, you're just gonna loop this around the first thread and pull that back. Then you're going to go in with your tapestry beater fork um, and kind of just beat that down to get a nice even row. Um, and then you're gonna, what you're gonna do for the next row is you're going to lift the threads that you went over the last time. So now you're going under those, the threads you went under on the last row. This is the basic weaving structure. It is called plain weave or um, with its proper term, it is called tabby weave. So this is the basic weave structure. Um, this is the weave structure that you um, maybe learn in your elementary art class or um, if you play, ever start weaving, then this is the first uh, type of weave you will ever um, learn. And then from that, you will move on to the twills um, is another common one. And uh, once you get more experience, you can start playing around with different designs. So this is a very basic um, beginner friendly project. If you are just getting into weaving, I recommend doing this project. It is very fun. Um, also, it is very fun to do with kids. So, yeah. So again, um, you're going... So, now that you've finished this row, you're going to, again, go in with your beater and beat that down. Covering up, hopefully you're covering up the warp threads then you get less white um, showing up. And then again, you're gonna go in with your, uh, um, with your shuttle and you're gonna weave what you, your first row. So last time, if you went under over, now you're gonna go over under. So on the end here, if you can see that, you went under this thread. So that means on this row, you're gonna go over that thread and under the next thread. and you're going to pull that through. Also, make sure that you are not pulling these edges in because then you're going to pull it in like that and you don't want that. That is called drawing. So you like to kind of leave a giant bubble like this and beat that down and that will hopefully slightly prevent. And if it's too much, then you can just pull that a little bit. And then I'm gonna do one more row. So again, you're, you're, if you went over a thread on the last row, you're gonna go under that thread. So the, that is what creates um, the fabric because that interlocking of threads is what keeps the threads together. You're going to beat that down. So, as you can see, we our fabric is starting to form. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave, and then I'm going to uh, put a header on it. Um, I mean, a final uh, header of this on the end of it, and then I'll show you how to tie it off. See you soon.
so now that I've finished weaving the main jean part and finished re weaving this little second header at the end, um, now we can, uh, we are ready to um, take this off of the loom. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I do that. So this end right here, um, if you can see that, you can just um, pop off the nails or you should be able to pop off the nails. Um, and it won't come off because of the way that it is at the end. So there I got one off and then you're just gonna kind of the nails and see how that is kind of straight against that it won't fall um the weft won't fall off of the warp and if nails come out that's fine you can just pop them back into their um, holes and almost done. Okay, so there's one end. Now this end, on the other hand, um, you're gonna have to cut and tie the ends because they're a little farther, and that and um. If you don't um, tie it off properly, the weft will fall out. So I'm just gonna cut this part right here. And since um, they're longer, they'll just pop right off the nails. So I'm gonna move this aside. And I'm going to show you how to tie this. So. What you're gonna do is you're going to um, uh, cut these um, so that they're separate strands and not looped together. And make sure that the weft doesn't get on to, um, or off of the warp, so that it doesn't fall apart. Okay, so. What we're gonna do is they're just gonna simply tie these uh, two threads together and you're gonna do that all the way across taking two threads at a time and then tying them together and make sure that you tie it tightly so that there's no space between the end of the warp and the weft there you can see the nice firm knot and then I'm going to do the same all the way around taking two threads and tying them together Okay, so I'm on my last knot. Okay, so we have officially finished our little jean rug. Um, again, I want to thank you all for ma helping me make it this far. And um, again, if you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye!